Hey guys, my name is Danny and I'm a life and a relationship coach. And today's topic is how to keep her interested. So this is, again, a topic that I get all the time, questions that I get all the time from my male clients. Um, how how do I keep the spark going, right? How do I keep the, the flame alive in the relationship? I feel like I'm losing her. How do I get her back? And the simple answer is invest time right? Prioritize the relationship. But I understand that there's more to it than that. Um, and I want to be able to give you guys some things that you can practically apply now in order for you to really feel like you are making progress so that you feel like you are at least achieving some of the small goals and you feel like you were kind of winning her back at this point. So the first thing is communicate. I know that seems really simple. I know that seems like a like a very generic answer, like, oh yeah, just communicate. But at the end of the day, that really is one of the important factors of reattracting your partner, right? Because one of the primary things and one of the things that I have found is that women want to feel understood. And in order for a woman to feel understood, she has to feel like she understands you. And oftentimes I find that men have issues being vulnerable right? We have issues sharing our feelings. And it's not that we don't want to share our feelings. It's just that we have been classically conditioned by society to put on this kind of alpha personality. You know, we don't share our emotions. We don't show weakness. Um, we don't cry. We are the hunter gatherers. We are the providers. We are the protectors. So we have to be strong all the time. But that doesn't really work in a relationship. Realistically speaking, we are human beings at the end of the day, right? And we all have emotions. We all have um, certain viewpoints. We all cry. We all laugh. We have to be able to be vulnerable enough to share that with our partner because the more that you let her in, the more she will feel that she is in a safe space in order to share her emotions, which will allow her to connect and bond with you at a deeper level level. So if you struggle with communication, I completely understand. I actually have created a product specifically when it comes to communication. And I highly recommend that you, you purchase that product that you go and you check it out. If communication is something that you struggle with. And believe me, when I tell you 95% of the people that I speak to struggle with communication, that is exactly why I created that product. And it, what it basically does is it breaks down the fundamentals of communication and how to resolve conflict. So if you really want to reconnect with your partner, if you really want to win her back, I highly advise that you go and you take a look at that product and you you invest the time into learning all about communication, right? Because that is going to make all the difference in the world. And you can actually find that on the product section of our website. So what is the second thing, right? What is what is it that women are looking for in order for you to feel like you are actually re-attracting her? Intimacy. The second thing is being intimate, being romantic with her. Again, you know, if you have issues expressing yourself, expressing your emotions, it's going to be difficult for you to put yourself in a vulnerable enough space to be able to show her how much you love her and how much you desire her. And what women want is they want to feel desired. They want to feel loved. I mean, even as a man, you want to feel loved. You want to feel desired. So being more intimate with her. Now, let me clarify. Intimacy does not mean having sex with your partner. Sex is a part of intimacy, but there is more to it. Intimacy is about really investing the time in, in understanding her, right? So if she's having a really tough day and she's emotionally exhausted and she comes to you for support, listen to her, hear her out, actively pay attention to her and engage with her and show her that you were there, that you're present and that you're, you're, you're willing to provide a safe space for her. It's even as simple as sitting down on a couch and watching a movie and putting your arm around her or bringing her in, cuddling with her, um, small gestures, right? So if you know there's a very, there's a, there's a dish that she loves to eat, cooking that for her before she comes home for work, all those little things are going to make a big difference. And it's going to help her to feel like you are invested in the relationship. You want to bond with her and you want to engage with her and that will re-attract her back to you. So again, being romantic, that's part of it. So when's the last time you planned a weekend getaway with her? When is the last time that you had a dinner date with her? When is the last time that you you set up any kind of, of date? I mean, 
If it's been forever, it's something that you may want to take a step back and say, why haven't I done that in a long time? And how do I make that a priority? The third thing is spice things up in the bedroom, right? I think there's this common misconception that guys are like these sexual hounds, right? We're the ones that want sex all the time. We're the ones that want to sleep with our partner, but women also have a sexual drive as well. And it's not always the woman who is not in the mood. We're human beings, guys. You know, we're not always in the mood as well. Do we maybe have the capability of shutting our brains off and really just kind of pursuing the pleasure? Yeah, of course there is. Women are a little bit more emotional, right? Women want a little bit more of an emotional connection and a bond. And I'm not saying that women don't have the ability of doing that as well, but more often than not, it's the men that are able to kind of shut that part of their brain off. It's not about that, right? You, if there's been a long time, it's been a long time since you've been sexually active with your partner. If it's been, you know, a few weeks, if it's been a month, if, if the sex has become inconsistent, it's about making that a priority because sex is the, and I've said this many, many times before, sex differentiates between a platonic relationship and a romantic relationship. A platonic relationship is just a friendship. That's really what it is, a companionship and a friendship. And if that's what you're looking for, and the both of you are completely content and happy in that circumstance and in that dynamic, great. Don't change a thing. But if you are looking for a romantic relationship, sex is going to be a big part of that. So really make that a priority and, and try to, to woo her right? It's not just about jumping straight into the sex. It's about the foreplay, guys. And the foreplay is the emotional connection, doing the romantic gestures, connecting with her on an emotional level, being more intimate. All of those things are going to build a strong foundation for you to be able to transition into a highly sexual relationship, into a fun relationship, into an exciting sex life. But again, I caution, don't just jump straight into sex because that's actually going to not work out very good for you. Um, take a step back, right? Evaluate where you are, figure out how you need to invest in getting her to a, a place emotionally where she feels that she can be vulnerable with you and that you've created a safe enough space to be able to take it to that level. The fourth thing is, Invite her into your passions, right? So if, if there are things that you enjoy doing, if there are hobbies that you have that you don't include her in, invite her. Have her come with you. Because when you are in your element, when you are doing the thing that makes you the most happy, she's going to see that. And that's going to inspire her. That's going to drive her. That's going to motivate her. Because in that environment, you are driven. You are motivated. You are inspired. And that is sexy. That is something that your partner wants to see. She wants to see you happy because maybe a majority of the time when you come home, you're bored or you're, you're tired or you just don't have the energy to do that, right? So that's really the person that she's seeing more often than not. So allowing her to see you in your environment, amazing. You know, that's, that, will, that will benefit the relationship. And if you don't have any passions or if you haven't exercised or, or, or actually been able to do your hobbies in a really long time, make time to do that because it will be a fulfilling experience for you. It will, it will fill your tank. And when you do that, you're able to bring that into the relationship and it changes your energy. It changes the dynamic and it actually creates a more positive and energetic relationship, which is what your girlfriend, your wife, your partner is looking for. And the last one is be adventurous, right? Try new things together. If it has been a long time since you guys have done anything together, plan something, right? So if your schedule is clear for next weekend, plan something for next weekend. Um, go to, you know, go out into nature, have fun, or maybe go to a theme park or maybe plan a mini vacation somewhere. Do whatever it is that you need to do if it's something that you have not done in a long time because shifting that dynamic, um, stepping outside of the comfort of your normal routine will help the two of you guys to reconnect and bond. Um, because scientifically speaking, it's been proven that adrenaline actually is a contributing factor to attraction because it, it sets off those chemicals that you feel when you initially get into a relationship, that honeymoon phase, the excitement, the butterflies, all of those types of things. So make a conscious effort to plan something new with your partner and do it. If you guys like this video, if you're related to this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. Um, 
I love having open dialogue with people. So if you have any questions, if there's something that you feel like I missed that you want to add, please make sure you leave that in the comment box down below. Maybe you just want a little bit more detail. You want to learn a little bit more. You can head to our website, www.happilycommitted.com, where we have a multitude of different articles and videos and blogs related to this topic and many other topics as well. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, you can also do that directly with on the website and you can book with either myself or any of the other amazing coaches that we have on the team. Again, as I mentioned in the video, there's also the products section of our website and there's a multitude of different trainings and, and products that you can utilize to help you along the way. And one of the primary ones that we discussed in this video is the communication training and I highly recommend it. Trust me guys, it will change your relationship, it'll change your life and it'll change how you approach your communication style. Again, my name is Danny, I'm your life and relationship coach. I hope you're staying happy and healthy, and I'll see you guys soon.